So what we're going to reporting on today, Thorpe Park Resort's 2019 season is over, but the 2020 season is only around the corner. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadongster Bourne, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Thorpe Park Resort. Now make sure you go stay tuned over the next few days for some more videos, make sure you go check out our early news updates over the next few days. But for now guys, let's zoom into the video. So, this is on Thorpe Park Resort, and this is on uh, the 2020 teasing campaign beginning. Uh, with a brand new Infinity logo teased at the end of year video on all their social media platforms to celebrate the end of their 2019 40th anniversary season. We've got a couple of predictions, but before we do, let's put the image on your screen now. Find Abby Dorsey, and let's get that image up. So this is like the light blue Infinity logo uh, with the initialized 2020 that was screenshotted over the top of uh, this dark blue background and the light blue Infinity logo. So let's have a look then and see what it could be. So my first prediction um, basically is um, a new updated logo, basically. Um, so my first prediction was an updated logo because uh, the old logo, I'm sure, was yeah, the, the old logo was great, but I think this new logo is going to take us into the next decade. So I feel like uh, they're going to update their logo as we go into the new decade. Uh, now, with that, we could see a new updated entrance plaza, uh, which could hint to us that uh, we could see uh, the inclusion of uh, some new ticket kiosks. We know that the old red ones, uh, maybe they could demolish that over the closed season and build some brand new ones, kind of like what Alton Towers have done with their new ones on the side. Um, so, there's a possibility of that. Uh, as well, so I think they're updating the entrance, but not too much because I feel like uh, the new screen that was introduced around 2014 2015, the new big screen on the entrance plaza into the turnstiles, um, plays of course that video. So I do believe that uh, it won't be a completely changed entrance, it'll just be enough um, just to update it a little bit. Obviously, we've got the new parking system coming in. Obviously, make sure you go check out that video on that uh, if you haven't seen it already, uh, but yeah. Basically, that's one of my predictions. Now, inside the park, another of my predictions is a stealth re-theme or redevelopment. Now, this is the most unlikely predictions, but my idea was like a lunar sci-fi theme, kind of like what they did with the Galactica at Alton Towers. Now, of course, for those of you who don't know, uh, Galactica is Air, which opened in 2002 at B&M Flying Coaster, and in 2016, they re-themed it into Galactica. Uh, VR was taken off this year. It was introduced, introduced in 2016, taken off this year, uh, and yeah, basically just kept that sci-fi theme. I think that sci-fi theme stealth would be brilliant, especially since the uh, stealth actually debuted in 2006 with the Infinity logo. And in my opinion, stealth as a name doesn't fit with the Amity Raceway theme that they're going for already with this. So, um, my prediction is that they're going to keep the stealth name, but actually re-theme it so it's not Amity Raceway anymore. Because uh, I think stealth's a more sci-fi name rather than a raceway name. Obviously, they're going with the speed and the stealth of the car, etc. But I feel like uh, a sci-fi theme would be better, especially with the promotion of the Lunar Cinema this year uh, that, take, that takes place in the Dome. Uh, but they've got like stealth to tease it, so uh, I feel like that should be uh, like the start, like a deeper meaning for something. So I think with the also with the initializing 2020 initializing being very sci-fi taught, you know, like you're initializing this brand new mission uh, to Amity, uh, to planet Amity or something like that. I don't know. I'm not very creative on the spot, but uh, maybe like a sci-fi theme of stealth would be great. Uh, another big thing to take out of this is a Colossus uh, redo, like a repaint or uh, like a redevelopment of some sort. Uh, and I feel like that could be a big prediction just for the fact that um, Lost City's been needing some work for quite some time. Obviously, Old Town has been needing work as well as the Saw Island. Saw the Ride's got its new license ship, apparently. Someone commented recently and said that uh, they've got a new three-year lease on the license ship. So that should be at least 2023 before we see something done with the Saw brand. So Saw the Ride is staying as it is for at least the next three years, it seems. Um... 
but I feel like Lost City needs some refurbishment work and some redo work. It, it might not be a sci-fi theme. It could be just like a repaint of Colossus and a redevelopment of Lost City, perhaps. Because um, I feel like next year is more like a well-round year for Thorpe Park. I feel like they're going to just re just like uh, completely redevelop their park uh, and sort of well-round it. You look at what Alton Towers do with the CBeebies land, World of David Williams coming next year. Uh, Chessington, what they do with their areas. So I feel like Thought Park's going down that route now over the next year or two of just developing the park so it's a more well rounded park. So it's not like a clash of themes as you're walking around the park. It's area, then area, then area. So each area is different and each area is separate from the other, but still finds a way of coming together as one theme park. So I think over these next year or two, I think Thought Park will be going sort of. Well, for a well rounding uh, the park attempt and sort of creating actual themed areas and making them themed a little bit nicer, uh, making it a well round park uh, and a fully themed park as well. So I feel like that's the route they're going to go down. And you know what? I wouldn't even be angry at that. I th I'd be really happy about, about that. Um, obviously, we know that Jungle Escape is pretty much coming back next year. Bounce Silla is still 50 50 on whether that's going to come back next year or not. Uh, however, we do know that Jungle Escape is coming back, so that should be nice. Hopefully, something permanent for that Jungle Escape site, but for now, we'll just be happy that it's coming back. Cause it did go it did go down well, Jungle Escape. Uh, there have been a lot of negative reports on it, but I think it's gone down positively as well. It's been mixed, so I think if they're going with a few changes here and there, I think they can make it an even more positive event next year. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be a fully evented program next year like they did this year with the events. I feel like it's just going to be like a round up general improvement year next year. Uh, so still a backseat year compared to other theme parks like Flamingo Land, Poulton's Park, Colton Towers, etc. So it's not as big of an investment as the other ones are adding, but I think it's still a decent year because it means they're going to well round their park and sort of spend a lot of time uh, rounding their park off and developing their park into a fully fledged themed park. So I think they're going down the right route next year, whatever they invest in. So I want to see what you guys think. Comment down below your predictions and I want to see what you guys think to this. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Thought Park Resort 2020. Make sure you like if you've loved it, comment down below and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow, killing the coast of life and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends. Oh, <laughs>